And what do you think about crypto as an investment? I think you need to really differentiate and understand the different layers within crypto. So are you talking about cryptocurrency of the more blue chip stuff like um, Bitcoin and Ethereum? Are we talking about some you know, random small coins? Are we talking about NFTs? Uh, I, think, I think there's a big difference on the layers and the options. And it's important to know the difference. So what I would say is if you're looking to get into crypto, one, don't just assume it's going to go up. I mean, over long term, it should, but don't uh, panic uh, if things are not going immediately as you want. Two, I would say your safest bets are going to be Bitcoin and Ethereum and to assign a percentage. You know, asset allocation is the fundamentals of any investing strategy. So how much are you going to allocate to different investments? Uh, so Bitcoin and Ethereum would be my top two. And then if you want to pick some NFTs that you really like the project and like the person creating them, um, then have that as a percentage. But overall, I'm very bullish on it. I think it, I think it represents a huge opportunity. Uh, I think it'll create a, it already has and will continue to, to generate a ton of wealth for people. Um, but it's also easy to, um, just like everything else, make a mistake, buy the wrong thing, and uh, when you make un uneducated purchases, they're usually the wrong ones, and you're just relying on on uh, hope and luck, which is which is not a solid investment strategy in general. So, but is it worth learning and and um, educating yourself? A hundred percent, because it's going to create tremendous opportunities for people that we haven't seen before. Blue chips. Yeah, well, so like what are, what are blue chips? Like Bitcoin and Ethereum? Yes. NFTs? Uh, maybe, like what's, an, what's a blue chip? What's a blue chip NFT? The apes, the punks? Um, definitely a lot more spec. If you're just getting started, I would, I, w I, would, I would be looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum as your main options. And then if you want to bet on somebody with an NFT, you can make sure you really like the person the project what if it gets banned indian and some other companies banned it cryptocurrency what if it gets banned uh it, it it's unstoppable now right it, it's unstoppable no one country i mean one country can ban it awesome it already has way too much momentum so if, if india bans bitcoin bitcoin is still going to be around it's it's past that point point. and listen governments probably will find you know, some companies are fully adopting it. Some countries might ban it. Uh, some countries might put regulations on it. You know, there's lots of, of possibilities, but it's unstoppable. It's unstoppable. Could you elaborate a bit on why you think it's unstoppable? Because no, it's because you can't stop it, really. I mean, no, no. So play it out. India bans it. Great. Now what? It's like trying to ban social media. You can't. One country might be able to, but, but it's un social media is unstoppable. Nobody can control it. Crypto is even more decentralized. At least with social media, it's owned by, you know, companies. Crypto is owned by everybody. I feel like if the U.S. chose to ban, um, oh gosh. Um, if the if the U.S. chose to ban Bitcoin, I am pretty sure we would literally see revolution. Yeah, it's too it's too it's too far. Yeah. It's too far, Ashish. I mean, there's still a whole bunch of regulation that has to happen. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, it's still very unclear what the laws, which laws apply. Uh, but it's not, it's not going to go away.